Management of Bradycardia, a step-by-step -step guide. Welcome to our video on the management of bradycardia, a condition characterized by a slow heart rate. In this video, we will walk you through a systematic and logical approach to effectively manage bradycardia and ensure the best patient outcomes. Step 1. Assess the patient and provide necessary interventions. If the patient is hypoxic, administer oxygen. Perform a manual blood pressure measurement and obtain an electrocardiogram ECG, to evaluate the heart's electrical activity. Establish intravenous access for medication administration. Identify reversible causes. Check for potential underlying factors such as electrolyte abnormalities, including low levels of potassium, calcium, or magnesium. Correcting these metabolic defects is crucial. Address any medication-induced bradycardia, such as administering glucagon for beta-blocker overdose. Continue observation. Monitor the patient closely for adverse signs, including shock, syncope, heart failure, or myocardial ischemia. These signs indicate a need for immediate intervention. Administer atropine. If the patient shows adverse signs or is at risk of asystole, give atropine at a dose of 500 micrograms intravenously. However, avoid using atropine in patients with a transplanted heart. If the patient respond adequately, assess the risk of asystole. Consider the patient's medical history, including recent asystole, MOBITS 2 AV block, complete heart block with broad QRS complex, or a ventricular pause longer than 3 seconds. These factors increase the risk of progressing to asystole. Evaluate response and keep patient on observation if no risk of asystole. Consider interim measures. If atropine does not provide a satisfactory response or there is high risk of asystole, consider transcutaneous pacing if immediately available. Remember, electrical capture with transcutaneous pacing does not guarantee mechanical capture. Other medications like isoprenaline or adrenaline infusion can also be considered. Alternative options include aminophylline, dopamine, or glucagon for bradycardia caused by beta blockers or calcium channel blockers. Throughout the management process, think ahead and involve specialists. Anticipate the need for an anesthetist or cardiologist and contact them promptly if their expertise is required for sedation or transvenous pacing. Connect the patient to a cardiac monitor or telemetry system for continuous monitoring of heart rhythm.